Alright guys, welcome back to another online lesson. Today we're going to be looking at uh, drawing an active network, activity network from a provided precedence table. Uh, this is probably one of the most important tasks uh, in this um, critical path analysis as if you get this part wrong, the rest of the question comes wrong. Um, so it's important that we get it right. Um, let's get straight into it then. Activity networks, we'll create these from precedence tables and it's a good way to um, visualize uh, or seeing the order that events uh, need to occurring. We always start with a source node and end with a sync node. Uh, good to memorize what these mean. So sync node is just the last one and the source node is the first one. Activities connect the nodes. A node represents the end of an activity. So the source first node doesn't but the, every other node does. Uh, you, you should always try to avoid crossing activities where possible and keeping lines straight just so it's easier to read. I don't know for the reason really. Um, and so normally I'd suggest to use a pencil and eraser but you've got a computer um, so you could draw it and erase it with that or you could um, use a pencil and eraser in your workbooks. Activities that don't depend on any
So, and then I'm going to label them. So this one's going to be A, this one's going to be B, and this one's going to be C, because they are all coming off our um, source note. I'm just going to copy my notes, and let's have a look what um, these the activities depend on these things happening. So D depends on B. And what else? Does anything else depend on B? Yep, G. G also depends on B. So we've got two nodes coming off there. So we've got um, here, we've got D. It doesn't matter which one you pick, I guess. But we may have to rearrange it. And this one was G. Okay, let's have a look at A. Does A have any things depending on it? Yes, we've got these two here, E and F. So we've got a create another two lines coming off E and F. So I'm going to just copy a node and put it at the end of A because A is finished and now our two nodes coming off there will be something like this um, with that being, let's say that one's E, that one's F. And then let's have a look at what depends on C. So C is here, we've got just H depending on C. So I'm going to copy a node. So once C is finished, I can put in a line saying that H But H also depends on D. So I'm going to switch this around to here. Because then this, that activity is done there. And because it says it's, H is also dependent on D, I've changed that node down to here to meet this node. Because that's still happening after B. But it means I can put H here. And it means it satisfies this, that it, finished, it depends on C and D. So I know C and D are finished. And that means I can put H there. Sometimes that's why we use a pencil uh, so we can erase things, so we can re rearrange it so it can suit the um, precedence table. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest. So we've got D, E, F, G, H now. I depend, I and J depend on E. So let's move this down a little bit. So I need another node, let's copy this one up there and copy our path, leave that up there. So we've got two coming off there and those two were I and J. Alright, our next one is K, which depends on F, G, and I. So we need F, G, and I all coming together. And once all those are complete, I can write K. And L. L depends on H, J, and K. So this... Oh, let's move D there. H needs to... And J needs to come down, <laughs> and K needs to come down. So, at the end where those all connect, we can have one last activity, which is L. And then that's our precedent stable activity all done and let's copy this one just for our sync node alrighty and that's I think all of the ones done and you could go through and check that all your things link up so we've got A, B and C as our starting ones and D depends on B so D depends on B so D's happened after B good A and uh, E and F depend on A so E and F depend on A happening good G depends on B happening, which also comes there, good. C and D 
Um, H depends on C and D happening, so C and D have happened here, and then H, good, E, I and J depends on E, so I and J should come after there, which is good, and then we've got F, G and I, so K depends on F, G and I all happening, which is after it, which is there, which is good, and then H, J and K, so H, J and K would be H, J and K all happening there, awesome. Um, let's have a look at what they got as the answer, which is just like that, which looks pretty similar to ours, but um, maybe just to move this one slightly down to our left, just so we know that it occurs um, before, there's so many little tags happening, before the I, J and K one happens. Slightly before it, so then that would match this one. All right, now there's activities on um, Teams for you to have a go at yourself. See you guys, bye.